that is exactly what you want when you're going away tomorrow. Off on a uh, three and a half hour journey tomorrow um, over to Gloucester or near the Cotswolds. Come back from work today and the, or yesterday actually, and the van uh, wing mirror completely smashed off. So thank God for next day delivery. New mirror, electric, heated. Let's just see if I can get it all fixed in time. We've got less than well, about 12 hours now before we go. So yeah, let's see how we get on. It's more like it. Starting to get packed up. I think this could be perhaps the most unorganized I've ever been for a camping trip. We've got a lot to bring, new awning, see how that goes. Yeah, we need to get on the road, Easter weekend. Always carnage when you're about to go. We've got the awning, we've got the shelves, we've got the buggy, we've got the pump for the awning done the pre-flight checks. Now it's just clothes, pillows, beddings all under here. We haven't got any food or drink. <laughs> Told you we we're unorganized. But, um, but yeah, about to hit the road. Pretty much all set to go. Um, had a last minute fix of the uh, wing mirror yesterday which um, wasn't too bad actually getting that done um, once I knew how to take off the door card but yeah some uh, must have been a van or a lorry smashed off my wing mirror completely bent it all the way back so it's beyond repair um, but luckily um, there's a shop on eBay a parts shop that um, allowed me to get next day delivery and um, so that was a bit of a rush last night which is why we didn't really pack um in advance but yeah we're pretty much all set um packed up fully packed ready to go we're going towards uh the cotswolds somewhere in gloucester um i'll obviously yeah film it <laughs> uh, but yeah looking forward to it it's easter weekend it's been a solid um well number of months really of work so um this is the first time to actually switch off without feeling that guilt it's a bank holiday so um you can actually leave your your work phone um behind so yeah looking forward to it let's hope the van starts up um i did a nice solid 620 odd miles uh the other week at snowdonia um so um always carry a uh, little tub of oil just in case uh, you know what these things are like but um but yeah let's uh let's get the van started up hopefully and uh, we'll start our journey, it's about three and a half hours, but I expect there'll be a fair few delays being the uh, bank holiday weekend. Um, there's another van hurtling up here, I wonder if that's the one that smacked my mirror. No. <laughs> anyway, let's go. is really really long it's waterlogged everywhere so the uh, guy said we can have a hard standing um, bit which is fine it's maybe a little bit wonky but we'll manage and um, he just said we've got to put up with the view which is but <laughs> who cares over there it looks really nice see the hills in the distance so yeah we don't care let's get set up it's our own uh, private little area now which is quite cool so yeah we'll, uh, get the awning there
nearly there. Look at that. That's the quickest I've ever put up an awning. Yeah, Daughter's in already. So huh? Yeah. Somebody else uh, forgot their pump, so they had the exact same awning, so they've just used it. They've been pumping for about an hour, but <laughs> now I used our pump and it was instant. So, yeah, look at that. Decathlon awning, 330 quid. I know, Jay, this is the door. I know, yeah, it's got a door. Look, the door's there, so you can have the door open and look out into the field. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> there we go. Let's get it all set up, shall we? That's, that's near enough set up. It's bloody huge, this thing. Got to unload the van, obviously. We've just travelled, but that's cool. It gives you a little bit of shade around there. Yeah, we'll just make it um, make it a bit neater in here and then put everything out, the fridge and everything. Covers the sunroof, which I don't think is too bad a thing actually for the evening. around uh, my wife's just taking my daughter for a little bit of a walk I did all the driving so it's um knackering really Easter bank holiday so uh, obviously you can imagine how the roads were but yeah we're all set up as much as we can be actually at the moment a few other vans have arrived which is pretty cool we always have that captain's chair um, pointing out that way so it's another place to sit really mainly um, my daughter sits there um, we just got some stuff charging from the uh, power bank at the moment. Just use this for a little bit of storage. Just our wash bags and stuff. And then this cupboard right now is just not utilised. Um, probably will be. Uh, we've got our shelves pretty much empty. We're only here really for uh, for two nights. So um, it's just not, not too much that we need to pack. We are away in the summer for a longer period of time, I think. Again, four nights or something like that, which is probably the longest that we've done. Same as uh, the Lake Districts last time. Um, but yeah, loving the awning as well. We've got the, um, it's a little bit of a canopy that gives you a little bit of shade there. Covers the uh, sunroof a little bit. And then outside, as I say, there's really not much for you straight out there, just because um, the guy said, obviously it's all waterlogged. So we're, we're not too bothered. Got a little bit of a window there, um, looking out to the rest of the site. And then the door in this uh, in this awning looks out over there. So we've got the Malvern Hills and some farmland and sheep. So um, yeah, look, we're set up quite nicely. We've got our seating area. We've got our uh, our cooler box um, with the beers, which we're just waiting to have, and then we're going to have some burgers. So yeah, I like it. Um, it's always ever evolving, really, having a camper van. Um, this is obviously the second awning I've had in a year. Um, March marked the uh, year anniversary of having the van, so really, really love it still. Um, always stuff to do, but yeah, it's not a bad little setup. Obviously, you've got the uh, canopy. And then through to through to the van itself. We don't um, get it all set up for, for sleeping really until later in the uh, in the evening. Um, so putting up the insulation and everything. So um, so yeah, we'll do that a little bit later. Don't know if I need to. I normally put the insulation on the windscreen and then um, the black cover. Um, I don't know if I need to double up really. Um, I made some of these though, just out of foil and got some of the uh, sticky pads. Um, so they go on the windows here, uh, these ones as well, and then the back. Uh, and honestly, it's actually made a real big difference. Someone uh, suggested it actually on one of the comments of the video. So thank you to that person. Um, it, yeah, it was cheap. It was like 30 quid for a big roll of this aluminium bubble um, uh, foil roll. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's made a real difference. Obviously this is insulated anyway. We've got the curtains, but having that foil really helps. Um, yeah, when I was in Snowdonia, it stayed to about 14 degrees, 16 degrees. We use one of these, by the way, uh, if anyone's seen them. You can just get them on Amazon. They're called Therm 
Pro, and it tells you the highs and the lows. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm expecting we won't be too cold tonight, but fingers crossed, who knows? Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna enjoy the evening, have a little beer. Um, my wife's gonna have a little cider, and uh, yeah, as I say, just relax. Tomorrow we're gonna be out. Today we're just gonna chill, cook some burgers, and enjoy it. So yeah, I'll keep you updated uh, as the evening goes on. Um, oh, there's another van coming in. That is getting fairly tight there. of a setup tonight obviously we're only here for two nights so um, we've not brought bundles of stuff I'm just sitting whilst my uh, wife's getting the daughter to sleep got the heater on keep it cozy and of course an IPA one thing I noticed actually about this uh, awning and I might have got it completely wrong but I can't seem to do anything with these sides maybe you just have to pull it all the way across um, same with uh, with down here um, doesn't really uh, connect up kind of ultra tight so maybe it's a bit more of a spring awning summer awning uh, but who cares um, you know we've got our heater on the electric hook up so uh, so yeah little fan heater keeping us nice and toasty in the van it was 21 degrees so Hopefully we'll all sleep well, hopefully it'll be insulated and uh, won't drop temperature wise. Am I still in it? And she's always stayed on the little cab bed. So I've just set it up. I'll show you what it looks like just while it's all fresh. Ignore our bin. So yeah, what we do, we have the insulation on the side windows, front windows, and then we have the um, the, the black kind of blackout that goes all the way around as well so it's kind of double insulated uh, as i say we've insulated these as well uh, as well as the curtains that help a little bit of warmth then i've got something that goes on the sun visor or sunroof as well so yeah my daughter goes in here um actually a mate of mine stayed in it again uh, the other week just about a week or so ago when we went to Snowdonia so I don't think it's the most comfy for an adult but for um, a child it's got a little bit of gift to it I just uh, rock the, the chair back just so um, just make sure that she don't roll out but because it's so curved she's not able to fall out but um, as I say she's nearly two now so she kind of knows what she's doing um, and then obviously we have our bed that comes out maybe a little bit of a gap uh, and then we just put some cushions there just in case but half the time in honesty she comes in with us but yeah that's the setup for the uh, cab bed it's about 90 quid on ebay A little run to the shop to get some supplies so filling it up lovely little leffy blonde some local ciders tonight's dinner 
We uh, spent the day at um, Newbridge Farm Park today, which was a um, <clears throat> like a there's horses and donkeys and stuff like that, mainly for uh, my daughter. Um, didn't really take too long really to go round there, and there wasn't much food on offer, so we stayed there about an hour and a half. And she enjoyed it, so not too bad. Then we drove into Hereford, which was nice. It's a real bustling kind of city, a um, bit of a market town vibe to it. Um, but obviously a lot bigger, so we stopped off there, got a, uh, got a beer, which was lovely. Uh, this morning had a bit of a hiccup, started the van, uh, and then the uh, coolant level light was blinking on and off, and I was like, oh, here we go. Um, but I ran the van for a while thinking maybe it was just, I don't know, because it was too cold, but um, still blinking, so I topped it up with a little bit of water. And then on our way, there was a garage um, so I just popped in there um, looked online apparently um, the G13 which is used in the in the van um, there's the comma brand or whatever it is I've got the bottle I'll look at it uh, I got the equivalent of that uh, and they can be mixed so I know that's always dicing with death but I've got a 250 mile journey and I didn't want to have no coolant so put a bit of that in when I got back it was, it's been running fine today so I've just put a little bit in and then done the mix with water so uh, run the van for a little bit and it all seems to be okay so far touch wood touch wood so uh, yeah just gonna have a beer uh, and then um, my wife and daughter have just arrived so we're gonna cook some steaks Just woken up, um, got the heater going, keep us warm. It's about 15 degrees in here now, so not too bad. Um, yeah, easy Sunday morning. Up we go, pack up, and off home. Only stayed a couple of nights, but it's just something to do, really. A bit of a break away. Did get a little bit cold again in here. Bless you. Um, overnight, but not too bad. There's some donkeys going, but look, we're on a farm. But yeah, we've enjoyed it. Nice and comfy. Um, good sleep. We just had our daughter in with us. We didn't put her in that bed at the front, um, just because obviously we knew it was going to be a cold night again. But that's it. Concludes our trip. Um, just three days, well, one full day really, two days of traveling, um, but it was just to test out the awning. Um, so now we are near enough cleared up. It was easy to put up. Let's see how good, it, how uh, easy it is to put down. That's always the struggle, uh, especially when we're trying to get going. We always want it done sooner rather than later. But look, we love this awning. Really, really good. Um, simple. The inflation is just really, really easy. So let's see how we get on with putting it down. On our way back now, all packed. Just sorting out.
find out something for our daughter. And we've got three hours 20 on the way home. I imagine it'll be longer than that, but let's see how we get on.